This tutorial shows you how to equalize your headphones in a few clicks using the new piece AutoIQ interface. After you have bought your new headphones, you might wonder how to improve them. Or you might not be fully satisfied with your purchase, so you want to improve them. That's where Peace comes in with its equalizer, and now with its AutoIQ interface. So, you can play around with equalizer sliders on the main window, in order to improve the sound simply through listening. Or start with a new equalization provided by a project called AutoIQ. It holds over 2500 equalizations of different brands and types of headphones. This project aims to equalize headphones to a neutral state, for which you can add your own preferences on sound like bass and treble. This tutorial tells you how to easily add such a neutral equalization through the new Peace Out IQ interface. Of many headphones, the so-called frequency response has been measured by several measurers, being companies or individuals. Some familiar names are Oratory 1990, or clinical. From these frequency responses, the OutIQ project of Jakob Passanen has created, or rather calculated, neutral equalizations. The piece OutIQ interface offers more than 2500 equalizations from which you can easily select the one for your brand and type of headphones. Click on the OutIQ button at the right bottom of the equalizer sliders on the main piece window to open up this new interface. The main part of it is the list of equalizations, sorted by headphones, brand and type. To find headphones, type in the first letters in the upper field called search, or type in some search term in the field in text. Once you have found an equalization for your headphones, you'll see in the panel at the right some equalizer APO commands, but those are just for reference. As you can immediately apply the equalization by clicking on the lower left use button. There's nothing more to it, but the outer IQ interface has a few additional features which may be useful to you. For instance, you may want to choose how to apply the selected equalization. By default, the current equalization on the main piece window is totally overwritten, but you may want to add to it. You can also add the commands as they are shown in the right panel to the piece commands window. This leaves the main equalizer to be used for further improvement of the sound. Talking about the right panel, the shown equalizer APO commands were created based on the measured frequency response of the selected headphones. In fact, there are three sets of commands per headphones equalization, referring to three types of equalizations called parametric IQ, fixed band IQ and graphic IQ. Before explaining them, I suggest to just try them out, to see what happens with the sound. An equalization is mostly a matter of taste anyway. Some want more bass, others more treble. After applying a selected equalization, you may need to add bass or treble, either with the equalizer sliders or by using the bass and treble knobs on the effects panel. But to be thorough, I explain the three types of equalizations. The first two are based on peak filters, which are fast and reliable. The difference between the two is the set of chosen frequencies. Either they are specific for each equalization in case of parametric IQ, these frequencies are precisely following the frequency response of the headphones, or the frequencies are fixed on certain doubling values in case of fixed band IQ, causing the equalization to be less precise, but may provide an easier reference through the fixed set of frequencies. Third equalization is by graphic IQ of equalizer APO. But it comes with two major disadvantages. First, such equalization has 127 frequency points, which would result in 127 equalization sliders, which are nearly impossible to use. To overcome this disadvantage, Peace recalculates this to a manageable set of 31 sliders. Another even more serious disadvantage is caused by using the graphic IQ command. Such an equalization may come with cracks and pops in the sound. Although this is a known issue, it hasn't been resolved yet when I was making this video. But it may be that the sound distortions aren't always present in your case, and everything works just fine. The piece out IQ interface doesn't hold all possible data on the out IQ equalizations, data such as graph images of the frequency response. This isn't needed for equalizing anyway, but you can easily go to the specific web page for the selected headphones on the out IQ website by clicking on the Go To button. The out IQ equalization database is growing rapidly, and so the piece out of IQ interface will hold more equalization over time. Perhaps your specific brand and type of headphones isn't included yet, but it may be in the near future.